Sitting in a coffee shop, sitting by the windowsill, walking down Eighth Avenue with you. Our fingers touching the light, your pull back blushing delight. Call me when you get back home. Meet me at Manhattan Hench. Meet me under Columbus Circle. Hi my Velva Bears! Welcome or welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a super highly requested video which is how I make my thumbnails. And lately I've been seeing so many comments asking for a thumbnail tutorial so I just thought today it would be the perfect day and I could share this with all of you. I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop for this tutorial but you can use whatever software you'd like. I've heard Pixlr E is a really good one but personally I've only used it like a few times like a really long time ago but that is a very popular one and i'm sure it would work great for this tutorial too also before we get started i know i've already said this in my last video but thank you so so much for 30k i have a 30k special idea planned and it might take me a little while to finish but it's coming soon so stay tuned for that but if you like this video please make sure to give it a like subscribe and turn on this post notification so you can always know when i upload a new video and yeah let's get to it so the first thing that you're gonna need is a gfx which i've already pre-made mine and i'm assuming that you all know how to make one and if you don't then there are many tutorials on youtube as well as on my channel i have one it's a little bit outdated but just let me know if i should make a new tutorial maybe but yeah let's just open up our software I already have it open and all of my overlays are right here, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna click on file and we're gonna click new and then we're gonna change our width and height to 1920 by 1080. And next we're gonna switch white to transparent and then we're gonna click create. Now we have our box here. I don't really know what to call it. <laughs> and for the background, I like to go with a more of like a cottage core or like a pink background, something like this. But recently I've been trying to go for more Bloxburg and gameplays. So I'm going to go into Bloxburg and I'm going to basically just take a picture or a screenshot of the scenery. I don't really know if that makes sense. And I'm going to make that the background of the video. Now we have joined Bloxburg and I'm just going to wait for this to load a little bit. Okay, there we have joined Bloxburg. Oh, okay, let me just turn my shaders off. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into build mode and then we're gonna click H on our keyboard to remove the grid. And then we're just gonna zoom out like so and we're just gonna take a screenshot of our surroundings. Make sure to click Control Shift X before we do though and turn off our GYs by saying hide GUI and then the duration, which is how long you want your GUIs to be gone for, which I'm just gonna put 50. So that seems like a pretty good time now i'm just going to take a screenshot of the screen so now i'm going to leave the game and we're going to go back into photoshop and we're just going to paste it in now what we're going to want to do is we're going to click Control t on our keyboard and now we have these little dragging tools so we can drag it to the right length of our I don't really know what this is called, our thumbnail. Now we're gonna go up to filter and we're gonna click blur and Gaussian blur. I don't know if I said that right either. <laughs> and we're just going to switch this to three. I think that's a pretty good number. You can do it however you like, but three or four is pretty good. Now I'm just going to import my GFX in. And now we're just going to click this copy and paste it over here. This is a little bit big, so I'm just going to resize it by clicking Control T again and resizing. 
Now, what I like to do is I like to put a little border around my avatar. I actually already have a layer style for my borders, but I'm just going to show you how you can make your own styles. So we're just going to right click on our layer and go to blending options. And now we have all of these options for our layer. So what I like to do for just the outline of my avatar is I like to do outer glow and then I like to make it white and increase the range, lower the opacity, and make the size smaller. I also like to put a little bit of a stroke on there. Um, I would make it really small so you can't really notice it and lower the opacity as well, like this. I'm actually going to add a little bit more of a glow to it, just so you can definitely see it, I guess. And now there's a glow on our avatar. This also works for text and other things. You just have to go to blending options up here and you can adjust everything how you'd like. There's so many options for it, like it's crazy. Next, I'm going to import some of my thumbnails to this project since this thumbnail is how I make my thumbnails. And I'm just going to drag a few of them in. So now I have some of my thumbnails, so I'm just going to basically click Ctrl T and adjust them how I like. I think this looks pretty good, but I'm also going to add a little bit of a border as well. I already have a layer for that basically, so I'm just going to use that. You can create your own styles by right clicking your layer, clicking blending options and then going to style and then we're going to click new style and name it however we like i'm just going to name it um border for i don't know thumbnails and there we go next i'm going to show you how to select multiple things you can select multiple things by clicking on one and then holding shift and then selecting another thing or however many you'd like and there we go now we can drag these wherever we like i think right here would look the best i don't know somewhere over here i might change that up a little bit but next we're going to put in some of our overlays that we like i actually already have mine and my tabs up here the first overlay that i'm going to add in is my pink cheetah print which is actually a custom overlay that i've made and i'm just going to adjust it how i like next i have these little dotted line things that i'm just going to bring into my thumbnail and there we go next i know this is like a little bit hard to see but basically it is a light flare thing i don't really know what it's called it looks like this i know it's not called a light flare but i don't remember what it's called so and i like to hide it a little bit behind my avatar you can change the opacity however you like by going over here and changing the opacity <laughs> oh it's called a light burst okay now i'm going to add my text i think i'm just going to put some text down here for text we're just going to go over and click this little text option and then click our thumbnail and up here we can change our font but these are like the fonts that i use the most i guess first i'm going to use this font called blacklisted and i'm just going to change the size by clicking Control t again and we're just going to make it a little bit bigger next i already have a layer style that i like to use for my text and usually that is this one right here um i'll show you guys what i like to do for it really quickly i like to use bevel and emboss by the way if i'm saying any of these words wrong i'm sorry i don't know english and i like to use pink for them usually and then i add two strokes one being white one being pink an inner shadow two inner shadows oh wait no three inner shadows okay uh, um a gradient overlay and again outer glow so that is basically what i do for my text next i'm just going to do my text it's not really that cool or exciting so i'm just going to speed over this because this kind of takes me a while Also, if you want to curve your text, you can click your text layer, click Ctrl T, and then click this little tool up here to curve it however you like.
As you can see from this tutorial, I am very indecisive in what I do. Especially for this part, I cannot decide where this should go. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think this is just what I'm gonna go with. There's not really a good place to put this, but it's fine. Next thing I'm gonna do, and I think the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put little butterflies around the screen, basically to fill up space, and they're really cute. <laughs> so I'm just going to copy this and just resize it and put it in random places. And yeah, that's basically all I do for my thumbnails. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go up to file and we're going to click export. Click export as PNG and then we're going to save it in our file somewhere. I'm just going to put mine really quickly. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to exit out of Photoshop. And we're going to go into Lightroom. Um, ignore this plant right here. This is Sylvia, my new plant. But, um just go up to file add photos and then find wherever you saved your thumbnail and then once you have just click add one photo and now you can adjust your thumbnail however you like i already have my own preset so i just need to click my preset and it's a little bit bright for me so i'm just going to lower the highlights and exposure a little bit and yeah this is my finished thumbnail next we're going to click file um export export one photo and then pick wherever you'd like it to save and that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful please let me know below because i love getting feedback from you guys and i know this tutorial might have been a little bit confusing for some people who haven't necessarily used photoshop before but if you have i really hope this has helped you out in any way but yeah if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like subscribe and turn on this post notification so you can always know when i upload a new video i'll see you all next time bye my velva bears oh now my head's stuck oh I belong here now. I'll be waiting there for you. Cotton candy clouds reflected in your eyes. Merry go round.